In this video, we're doing the equidistant chord theorem, and this is a two for one video because we're going to prove two things in this video. First of all, we're going to prove that if these two chords have equal length, then they are an equal distance from the center. Now, we're also going to prove the converse. If they are an equal distance from the center, then they will be an equal length. So, my starting points are different in both proofs. These are different proofs, okay? In this one, I know this length, this full length, is equal to this length here. And what I'm trying to prove is that this length and this length are equal. In this proof, I know that this and this are equal, and I'm trying to prove, therefore, this and this are equal. But the methods are pretty similar both times. So I've drawn in a few more dots here. I've drawn in a radius there and a radius there. And now that I've done that, I think I can get started. So. We've been told that the chords are equal length. So we know that AB, length AB, is equal to length CD. Now, we should also know, let's mark in a point there and call it E. Let's mark in a point there and call it F. Okay, I know that length EB is half of length AB. And the reason I know that is uh, because we know that a uh, perpendicular line from the center to a chord bisects it. We've got that theorem. So there's my theorem here, B, B E equals half of A, B. I can also say that C, F equals half of C, D. Obviously for the same, same reason here, right? That means that uh, C, F and B, E are the same lengths. So now that I've established that that and that are the same length, I should have really done this earlier, but obviously these are the same length because they're both radius. Let's call that point O. So now what I have are a right angle triangle here and a right angle triangle here. And right angle triangles where I know this length and I know this length are equal to that length and that length. Now, because I can figure out my third length using Pythagoras' theorem, I'll be able to figure out that that length is the same of that as that length, that is equal distance from the center, because these formulas are going to be the same because they're the same numbers. So just to finish it, we know that OB squared, the, the hypotenuse, minus BE squared there, is going to equal OE squared, but more importantly, it's also going to equal C, um, CO squared minus CF or FC squared. So that's going to be equal to OE squared, which is also going to be equal to OF squared. And if OE squared equals OF squared, therefore OE equals OF. And that's it. We found out that that is equidistant there and there, a little QED. This is the same question, right? Like, it's going to lead us in the same path. The only thing that's going to change is that our Pythagoras theorem is going to be flipped around a little bit. Because we're being told if equal distance from the center, which means we know that length and we know that length. If I draw in my radius, radiuses are always the same. So AO equals CO because they're radii. Um, now, I can find this length using the same formula both times, right? If this squared equals this squared plus this squared, and this squared equals this squared plus this squared, and they're the same, then that must also be the same. Now, I'll try to keep this pretty straightforward here. We've got our two Pythagorean theorems. AO squared equals OE squared plus EA squared. We know that that's a right angle, obviously, because we're bisecting our... our we're going from the center to a chord. Um, and we know that that's a right angle. And then we get this other one here, CO squared equals FO squared plus FC squared. Now, what do we know? We know that AO and CO are the same. AO equals CO. And we know that because they're radii. What else do we know? We know that OE and OF, uh, OE equals, I've written FO here, we know that they're the same because we're told if equal distance from center. So we'll just write given there. Now, if they're the same, that means that that's the same as that, that's the same as that, and therefore EA squared equals FC squared 
which means that EA equals FC. Now, if EA equals FC, therefore AB equals CD, because AB is double whatever AE is, and CD is double whatever CF is, and the reason for that is the one we used over here. Alright, so it's important to note that these are two different um, proofs. Okay, one, you're being told that the chords are the same length and being asked to prove that they're equidistant. The other is that you're being told that they're equidistant and you're being asked to prove that the chords are equal. Alright, so they are the converse of each other, uh, but you can now prove 